are in Horseshoe Lakes. To the right is a dump station. There's two of them. All right, when you come in, you should just pull through. The gate is not going down. She said we could find anywhere there isn't like a bag over the electric box or where there isn't an RV. Place in the middle of nowhere. There's one of the lakes there. Um, they have a couple of lakes here and they look, they're shaped kind of like horseshoes. <laughs> She like, look, it's beginning to look a lot like fall. It's gonna be getting fall pretty soon. Cute little place. How woodsy. When we first get to an RV campground, usually Steve and I will both drive around separately to see if we can find a spot that will suit our family. I don't know if you can tell, but as we drive around, you won't see too many open camp spots. This is actually a pretty small park. We didn't get too familiar with it, but we did see maybe two open spots. And so we ended up just grabbing the first one close to the entrance, which had plenty of yard space. Here is Horseshoe Lakes in Indiana. Restrooms, this is the first one we came to and it also says storm shelter. You would just come here and go into the restrooms to use them as the storm shelter. That's what we do anyway, normally. So it has a couple showers and a couple stalls. And a giant vanity over there. Okay. This is really neat. We're not going to be here long, but very woodsy. Kind of reminds me of the place we stayed in Alabama. The Thousand Trails, it's in Alabama because we stayed there in fall last year for like a night or two. This is the recreation circle. Here at Horseshoe Lakes, this is the lodge or clubhouse. They have a big picnic pavilion here covered with tables and chairs, and then there's a little playground over here in the, in the yard. There is the putt-putt golf, and here is a big parking lot. There's also a basketball court there. I'm just going to go over here and take a quick gander at the pool. Yeah, they call it a family center, so yeah, let's just see if it's even open. Yes, it is. In fact, oh, that's too bad we didn't get to stay here longer than we could, but it's close to 90 right now, so it's really hot. And we are going to meet a fellow nomad in Tennessee. Oh, they have a grill. And they have... A nice pool here. Small but really nice. It's lined and fresh and clean. And they also have some layout chairs. You know, I'm not real sure if the pool is still open now that it's after Labor Day. But look, they have one of those old school roundabout things that you can play on. And then there's a swing under the little covered pavilion there. Yeah, there's lots of room here. I think we would stay here again for sure. It's in a neat location just because if you're traveling from, say, well, we were in Michigan. We're going down to Tennessee, so it's like kind of right along the way. And we're, tonight we're going to actually boondock. Hopefully it's not going to be too hot because right now it's afternoon and it is like 88 degrees. It feels good, though. The humidity is low today. Yep, this is great. We are just here for the night. This is uh, Horseshoe Lakes in Indiana. Oh, we got a little spot here. It's kind of private. It's on the end. And then um, has this little 
area here until the next person's campsite. So well, yeah, we're just gonna I'm gonna make some dinner and uh, we're gonna get some rest. It's nice and very woodsy here, very humid too, and quite a bit warmer. It's probably about 10 to 15 degrees warmer and a lot more humid here in Indiana than it was in Michigan. But I think it's supposed to cool off. Anyway, good night and we'll see you in the next clip. We just stayed the night and we're about to head out now. Steve's waiting for us up front, so let's get going. Over there is just one of the horseshoe lakes. I think there's two or three of them. They're shaped kind of like a horseshoe, so it's really cute how they named it. Okay, see you later, horseshoe lakes. One last stop before we leave at the sanitary station because we're going to be boondocking and they didn't have dumps uh, at the campsite. a hot dog right here just hanging out in PetSmart is a hot dog yeah <laughs> where's the hot dog going thanks to good old Cracker Barrel we're moving on we stayed the night here it was hot I didn't don't think I got any sleep maybe an hour and a half so just barely any sleep and we're heading off to, we're going to be crossing state lines again today. We've already crossed like two since we left Michigan or Indiana or wherever we last were. So, yep, we're going to go to our next destination. We'll be there today. Look, y'all. My window guy here is making it is making it more clear for you to see out my windshield. He's also gonna pump gas for me. He keeps disappearing on me, but he's out there somewhere. There he is. Aww. You a horsey? Hi, horsey. Look at that beast. Wow. Yeah, you kind of need one of those to do work out here on the farm. Look where we are again, guys. Tennessee State Line! 